Welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel, everybody. I'm Darren, and today, but today I'm going to make me a big batch of beer bratwursts. So I've got a big thing of uh, pork butt here. I got a piece of a loin uh, that's real lean that I'm going to use. I've got some extra fat that I kept from another uh, uh, pork uh, recipe that I uh, did the other day video. Um, I've got my big pack of um, lamb backwoods, fresh sausage seasoning, bratwurst seasoning that I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to cube up in real small some of this mild cheddar cheese to throw in there. So I'll have some cheddar cheese beer brats. And we'll see how that works out. Haven't done those yet. So I've got my uh, meat already. I'm going to go ahead and cut it up into real small chunks. And then we're going to put it in the freezer for about an hour or so. I've got my meat grinder all set up. I've got my casings all getting, uh, getting all nice and uh, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this stuff up. So what I'll I'm going right to do back. is I'm just going to start. i got a piece of this loin here that's really, really uh, lean. And I'm going to cut up the rest of this uh, butt. And then I've got some extra pieces of fat from another pork uh, cook that I did that I kept just for this. And I'm going to cut it up real fine. I'm going to mix it up really good in this bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this up. Like I said, I'm going to cut it. So you guys can see, I'm going to move this out of the way. Just in really small, less than probably about a half inch or less, um, half, half inch or less cubes. Because when it runs through the meat grinder, I want to make sure it uh, cuts it up pretty good. So, But uh, we're going to chop it all up. And I'm going to cut up some of the butt, some of the fat. And all of it's going to be really fine like this. About like that, you know, like I said, less than a, less than an inch, probably between an inch and a half inch at the most. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this all up, throw it in the bowl. In and fact, I got all the meat cut up, and what I'm going to do now, and I've already started on it, is cutting up the uh, cheese into little tiny chunks, because we want this to mix in really well with the meat, and um, it's going to get ground up anyway. Let me finish cutting so. this uh, stuff up. And what I'm going to do right is I'm going to mix the meat up right now with the seasoning and the beer. We're going to throw it in the freezer to tighten that up. And then when that gets ready to go, we're going to run that through the meat grinder once on medium. And then I'm going to take that meat, mix the cheese in, and then we're going to run it into the stuffer alone with no, uh, with no meat attachment, no uh, grinding attachment. So that's how I'm going to do it. That way the meat doesn't get all gummed up in, into the sausage. It'll still have those chunks in there. And that's what we really want. So... So I'm going to go ahead and toss my pork, and it's about a 70-30 uh, split fork, uh, with fat and uh, lean, so maybe a little bit more than that, and that's kind of what you want with sausage. You don't want anything, anything uh, lower than 80-20. You don't want a really lean sausage because it'll be really dry. So, so this is probably a little bit, little bit more than 70-30, and... I'm moving it to this pan because that's not big enough for me to mix it up in by hand. And that's really what we want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and toss the seasoning in that we pre-measured out. And then I'm going to dump about a little more than half of this beer in here. Yeah, it's a little bit more than half. And I'm going to mix this all up in here and get it all mushed together. Then, when we get this all mixed up, and all the seasonings all blended in, I'm going to toss it in the freezer so that the meat tightens up really good before right, we throw it into the meat grinder. Got it all out of the freezer. It's uh, pretty cool. I think it's going to be pretty good to run through the meat grinder now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in batches. I'm going to do, you know, like half of it at once, grind it up, and then uh, I'm going to grind go the other half so. and just uh, start running this through the meat grinder. I'm not going to put you through me watching and watching me do the whole thing. I'm just going to run some of it through and then I'm going to shut the camera off and finish it up. But it's going to be a little bit loud. I'm just going to show you how we run some of it through. It comes through pretty quick. You can see that. Comes 
out pretty good. And uh, like I said, we're just going to do this in batches. I'll do half of it now, throw it back in the freezer, half of it back in the freezer, and then I'll put this uh, half of it in casings, and then we'll run it again. But there you go. I'm going to finish up this part, and I'll be back. Take our ground sausage here. It's fine ground, pretty good. And I'm going to add, since we did about, looks like a little over half of that batch we did, I'm going to take a little bit over half of the cheese and put it in here. And we're going to mix it up really good. So that's a little bit over half. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it up really good in the sausage so we can get it a little piece in just about every bite we take. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it all up. And then we're going to throw it in the stuffer. All right, guys. We. Um, did clean out our meat grinder with warm water, got the uh, grinder blade and the die out of there. So all we have now is just the uh, auger in there and the sausage, um, sausage tube. And I've had my casings actually um, in the water here for a good hour and a half. I rinsed them off for a while. And like before, I use the pre-tube casings. Makes it real easy to get on the sausage stuffer. Um, so they're already in a tube, and all you got to do is just pretty much slide them on. You don't have to try to un, uh, un you know, wind them and hook them on, and it's just a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get these on there, kind of show you how that goes. You pretty much just take your tube, pull this, and just slide it on. And you can just kind of push it all the way on there, and then you can slide the tube out once it gets on there. You get enough of it on, you just kind of slide that tube out. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this on, and we'll be back. All right, guys, I got it all, all the uh, casing on there, and I'm now just going to slide this tube right out. comes right out of there. And then we're going to just slide the rest of it. We're going to leave a good amount on the, the casing here because I want to get all the air out of it. So um, before we tie it off, I want to get some most of that air out. So this should get us through this whole stack of sausage here. So I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing it, and I'll start be back in a minute. Through the stuffer now. See, I want to try to get as much of that air out of there. It's going to be coming out. That's it for the first round. So, got a good four four pounds of sausage here, and I'm going to go ahead and link these up, and then I will get ready and do the um, the second round. But I'm going to head first tie it. I left enough the end here to tie it off. I just want to make sure you guys can see that. I'm going to go ahead and tie this end off here so that we can link these up. They are kind of slippery, so it is kind of hard to do. So make sure you, when you do this, you leave yourself plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, extra here at the end. You want to get down as close to the end as possible here. And then you can... Go ahead and stretch them out. Make sure that they don't get overstuffed in any one spot. Because what you want to do is link them up. You should kind of like measure out as long as you want them. You know, like, like right here. And then just kind of pinch and twist it. 
I mean, why don't, why don't make it so it doesn't break? So if it's overstuffed, it'll break. So there you go. Then you just do the next one. You just kind of pinch it and measure off at the same spot. And you twist it up about eight, seven, eight times there. And you just keep going on down through the end. All right. I'll see you guys back in a few. All right, guys. So that's my first batch. I'm not going to bore you through the second batch, but they came out pretty decent looking. Um, cheese looks like it's uh, well you know, spread out through the sausage. Um, they're all pretty good size. Good fat content in there, I can see. So just uh, one of the things I need to tell you when you guys are doing this, when you're um, putting them in the uh, casings, it's always good to keep that casing nice and wet. So keep that uh, bowl of water close by. And just every couple minutes, make sure you, you know, put, just put a little bit Smooth more water on down the casing, down the, uh, down the stuffer. So, well, there you have it, guys. They're easy to make. If you get a meat grinder, it really doesn't take you but a couple hours. Uh, I'm just making a big batch today, but it really takes a couple hours to make a good, um, good amount of sausage. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned a little something. Um, and make sure you like this video, subscribe, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and make sure you watch our next video.